The cow literally, they, well, Broody approached the cow and they touched noses and then the cow went to stick out his big tongue <laughs> at Rudy and Rudy's like, whoa. <laughs> he started backing away from the fence and uh, yeah, I think he realized that the cow's just a, a massive cow. creature. Yeah. rented another Airbnb. This one is a class four on the Bortle scale. It's about 4.30 p.m. I'm watching that sunset and I'm in the middle of a beautiful silent farmer's field out in the country. It's so beautiful out here and actually rather mild considering that it's mid-December. So the forecast looks terrible for the next few days but tonight is the best night out of the bunch. Uh, it's not going to be clear, but it looks like there may be a few sucker holes. Maybe create kind of an interesting moody image with some clouds. Just trying to make the most of it. It was about a three hour drive to get out here. And uh, even if I don't do any astrophotography, it's just beautiful to be out here. I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. I need to live out here. I need this. I need this in my life. So seeing as how it's December, Orion is really on my mind. I've photographed it so many times before, but not enough under dark skies. So that's kind of what's on my mind out here to get a nice broadband image of the Orion Nebula, a wide field shot. I brought a few optics with me. I brought the Radian Raptor 61 and my Rokinon 135 to capture it really wide. The only mount I brought was a portable star tracker, the Skywatcher Star Adventurer, and then just a remote shutter release cable. So traveling very light and very portable because I'll be coming out here into the field uh, in the dark with a little headlamp on. So uh, I'm gonna dress warmly. Hopefully the sky's clear. Man, it is such a beautiful sunset. Like I, I am thoroughly enjoying this painting in the sky right now. So when I constantly talk about moving out to a darker sky location out in the country, kind of in the middle of nowhere, this is this is what it's all about. This this open sky, the ratio of open sky to obstructions is heavily in favor of the sky. You just don't get this in the city. There's trees right up next to you, uh, neighbors' houses, and it's just so congested and loud. And it, out here it is so quiet and beautiful and it's like meditating out here just being out here i mean look at this sky i can't get over this So this is the rig I plan on using tonight. I'm not going to use the telescope, not going to use the Radian Raptor tonight, so I won't be shooting at 275 millimeters. It'll just be wide angle at 24 millimeters uh, with this Sigma 24 millimeter f1.4 lens and the Canon EOS RA. And this unit here is the Skywatcher Star Adventurer 2i, so the newer Star Adventurer. Uh, I won't be tapping into the latest features of the Star Adventure, the 2i with the Wi-Fi and the app and everything. I still need that connector cord to uh, make some of that stuff happen, uh, but it's still a great star tracker, still my favorite star tracker, just the newer version. Okay, so I just checked outside and it is clear out. I'm gonna be setting up right now, I'm so excited. Uh, we're facing north. North is here so I can pull our line. Rudy, stay in here, buddy. 
I'm gonna set up right on this little balcony here and uh, yeah, I'm excited. Here we go. Look out, bud. Officially, this is a uh, anniversary getaway, right? That was our excuse that to, was to, supposed to, be what to it come was. here and bring Rudy and a uh, really nice place. And we originally thought about coming earlier in the month, around December 1st, our anniversary date, uh, but that was full moon. So I convinced Ash to go two weeks later here on the 10th and uh, closer to new moon uh, because we are under Bordel class four dark skies. And uh, you're, you're accommodating like that. You let me you know, kind of make our plans around the new moon. And uh, so it's, I just looked outside and it's actually clearing up and I'm photographing the area of uh, Perseus and I can see Andromeda. I can see, uh, I can see the California Nebula. It's so dark out here. You can do both. It's possible to do a couple's trip and still do astrophotography like on our honeymoon, right? Yeah, I feel like it's easier with a smaller set up like with the star tracker it's way easier to do that than having to how long did it take me to set up tonight 10 minutes if that uh, honestly i polar aligned <laughs> set the uh timer for 60 seconds that was it star trackers when you're on vacation yeah yeah are you gonna show uh rudy and his jammies they already saw rudy and his For each and every astro photo I take, when I see it, I remember where I was. I remember who I was with, and I remember what's most important to me. There is something about the night sky that makes me feel at home, no matter where I am. When you look up at the stars, what do you see?